Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about HTML links. HTML links represent the kind of content that whenever you click on it, it is going to redirect you to, to some other page or some other content. For example, you might have seen like read more or sign up or sign in. They're all HTML links. So inside the body, the way that you can create HTML links is HTML links are called anchor elements or anchor tags. So I'm just going to say A and when you hit enter, this is going to be an HTML element. So what does this HTML element has? By default, it is going to have an href attribute because links, they redirect you to somewhere else. You need to provide the address or the URL for that somewhere else. Now, let's say you want to you wanna create the kind of a link that when the user clicks, the user is redirected to this website, color-hex.com. So I'm going to say colors. So again, the, con the concept is the same. Within the opening tag and the closing tag, you're going to write the content for that element. When you save it, there you go. So you can see that the color is different. By default, when you hover on it, the mouse cursor is going to change to a hand icon. And when you click on it, uh, now we have two different kinds of elements. We have elements that open uh, within, within the uh, same page. And then I'm going to show you how we can create elements that open in different pages. Open uh, in different in a different page. I'm going to show you how you can. That's actually an attribute that you can use. So if the user clicks on this, the user will be redirected to colorhex.com website. This is one of the first resources that I'm going to give you as as a developer who, who is diving into HTML and CSS, there is a lot of like thousands of different, of different combinations of colors that you can use in your websites. So uh, when you click on this, this is going to take you there. This is an HTML attribute. This is the key and this is the value. Now, how can you create an anchor tag or an anchor element that does not open the element within the same page. And you might say, why? Whenever you're creating a website, you have to be careful that no matter what, you should not drive your traffic away from your website. I mean, your website has to be open all the time. So if you do this, you can see now your website is gone and basically you have redirected your own traffic, your own viewers to another website. That is not a good thing. Now, the way that you can handle this issue is that you just provide that website that you, you want your user to go to. And when this attribute ends, right after the code, you're just going to do space because attributes are separated by spaces and you're going to write a blank attribute. So you're just going to write blank equal to, no, sorry, not blank. You're going to say target. When you create the target attribute, you're going to set it to underscore B-L-A-N-K. N-K. And save it. And now I'm going to I'm going to give this name colors two, so you know what the difference is. So if you click on colors, it is going to open within the same page, right? But if you all click on colors two, I'm going to comment this one out. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and grab the two and remove it. So now this one, if you click on this, you can see it just opened up a new tab open in a new in a different page. Again, click open in a different page. That's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.